Hello friends and family, welcome to the podcast. This is the Free Ride Podcast and of course it's also a vlog that I try to drop every week just giving you tips on how to survive this crazy tough world, right? So I know for a fact that the majority of you aged between 25 and about 35 men in South Africa, in Cape Town and Johannesburg and Durban and Pretoria actually love to watch this content. So Kelly, I appreciate about for you. Thank you very much for doing so. Today I woke up and I wanted to talk about this because I can relate to it. Dealing with criticism, backlash, or being written off can be very challenging. But with the right mindset and approach, you can come back much stronger. So here are the five tips that I want to share with you on how to overcome it. All right. So number one, you got to embrace constructive criticism. You got to look for the underlying message in the criticism and see if there is anything you can take away from it and to improve yourself. You must learn to differentiate between constructive feedback and baseless negativity. Constructive criticism can be valuable for personal growth. The baseless negativity you must shut out. Number two, you got to maintain self-belief. So you must believe in you, believe in yourself. You got to develop and nurture a strong belief in yourself and in your abilities. And you must remember that success often comes with setbacks. And just because someone doubts you does not mean that they are right. You got to stay determined and focused on your goals. And let self-belief be the driving force that propels you forward. If you don't believe in yourself from foot, nobody else is going to. Number three, this is an important one. You have to surround yourself with support. You have to build a strong support system of family, of friends, coaches, and mentors who believe in you and your potential. And having a positive network of people can lift you up and help provide perspective, encouragement, and guidance during difficult times. These are the people you can count on when the whole world is telling you that you are useless, that you have failed, that you are not good enough, that you are a con man. Your family, your support system will be there to support you. Number four, learn from role models. Look at successful individuals like Cristiano Ronaldo, who was criticized big time. Nobody's ever had criticism close to what Ronaldo has gone through. Nobody. At Man United, at Juventus, at Real Madrid, he was he was criticized for being thin, for being a show poster, for holding on to the ball, for they said no, it was all about him and what what what. And now the man is a legend. Lionel Messi, number 2. He was criticized at PSG, he was criticized by the Barcelona fans when he wanted to leave Barcelona. When he joined PSG, he was criticized when he wanted to leave. And people thought of sort, he's going to MLS, the weakest of the teams. He's going to be useless there. He's old, he's aged. Look what he's doing. Look at what Ronaldo is doing. The third person I want to talk about is Shakari Richardson. Now, I woke up this morning and I saw news articles that this woman, who had been criticized for not performing well at the Tokyo Games, who was pulled back for smoking a little bit of doobie, for smoking weed, she was told that she can't go and perform at the Tokyo Games. She has come back like a phoenix and rose from the fire. And she broke the records and she won a 1x400 meters, which is a relay, where she
where she took the bait and she was the last one to do the 100 meters and she took it and she sprinted so fast that she beat them and did a 9.65%, 9.65 seconds. And of course now the whole world is talking about her. She was criticized. She's got emotional issues. She, her mom uh, had issues. She nearly took her life when she was at high school. So she's got a bit of a tough background. And now the whole world looks at you and then they just want to criticize. And they don't know what is troubling you. What is your background? What are the hardships you've just gone through? So you need to study their journeys. Study their journeys. And not just them. There are many others who have overcome criticism and they were told that they were not good enough and that they were going to fail and that whatever ideas. You can even look at Elon Musk who's been criticized for trying to go to space or Jeff Bezos who has been criticized and he's trying to go to space. He's, they're thinking that he, they are crazy, thinking that there's a world on another planet that they can create and it's possible and they can do it, but they're being criticized as we speak. All right, so you got to learn from the experiences and you can gain insights into the mindset and strategies that they used to rise above their challenges. Number five, you got to use setback or setbacks as motivation. You got to use criticism and setbacks as fuel to prove others wrong and to prove to yourself that you are capable of what you are capable of, what you are capable of. You got to prove it to them. You got to show them. You got to say, fuck you. Okay, I'm sorry for saying that. You got to say, bona wena, bona. I'm going to show you. It could be your father who left you. It could be your mother who abandoned you. You could be an orphan and you feel like the whole world hates you. But you can prove it to them. You can even speak to them, Mama Lose. Maybe they, both parents died and you feel like they neglected you and left you and abandoned you as a kid. Pray, Mvanagit. Pray. Pray. Chesampe pontwana ka. Chesampe pontwana. Ubuelebo no bachaye lo bable lore. Ndwana. I'm back and I am made in his image and I am made to be great and I'm going to do this thing. So prove it to yourself and prove it to them. Then you got to channel your frustration or your disappointment into hard work. I could not have said this any better. It's okay that you dream, you think, you plan, but if you don't translate it into hard work of waking up every day and just taking that pig, taking that spade, taking that shovel and dig and just work at it, work at it. Doesn't matter what it is that you do. Try and get better at it every day. Try and do best at it so that when you get that break, that opportunity, you're already a well-oiled machine and you're able to, to make it. You got to have determination. You got to have determination. You got to say, I am going to do it. I'm going to achieve. I'm going to overcome this. Then you got to have a dedication to improve and achieve your goals. All right. So. If you look at a guy like Ronaldo, I like to use that example. And I used to be a left-footed player. So what I did, I mean, I learned this from him and David Beckham. I used to take maybe 20 free kicks with my left foot. To improve my right, I would take 25 free kicks with my right foot. Or 30 free kicks with my right foot. And then I saw Ronaldo doing exactly the same thing, but even to the highest level where he says, okay, I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm thin, so I'm going to bulk up and be stronger. So that when these niggas try to push me, I can push them back. In fact, not only that, I can take them with one on their chins and take them out with my right. So I'm going to be strong, I'm going to build my muscle. Then he says, okay, I am not strong enough when I lift myself up from the ground, when I jump to head out the ball. I'm going to let myself practice how to head out the ball. Head out the ball. And he headed the ball more than 100 times, 2,000 times, 20,000 times, trying different angles. The ball comes from the left. He heads it in. 
from the right, from different positions, then you practice that. So you got to take your weaknesses and turn them into strength. So you got to practice them all the time. If you're not comfortable speaking in public, do what I'm doing. Record yourself, watch yourself, watch your body language, watch your eye contact, watch how you speak, listen to how you speak, and then you build on that. You do it over and 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 over 10,000 times. 10,000 times and you'll see how better you'll become. You got to push yourself to reach new heights and let setbacks become stepping stones to success. You have to. You have to do that. Nobody else is going to do that. Nobody's going to take you on their lap and say, Donaga, shall I on my lap? Sit here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to nurse you like a baby. Even a baby at some point, you must let your child crawl. You let them crawl. And when they crawl there, they're going to eat all sorts of things that they're going to find on the floor. They'll eat dust. They'll eat what? They'll eat dog food. They'll eat cat food. And they'll have dog hair on them. And then you let them walk. And guess what happens when they start walking? They fall. And guess how many times they fall? Some kids, they'll say, I all got to get slow walk. Hey, all got to get slow to walk. You're going to fall a couple of times, G. You're going to fall, dog. You're going to fall. You don't know. You're going to fall. You're going to fall. But then when the baby starts maintaining the balance, the balance is there. They can now stand on their feet and they can now walk without falling. Then they discover that actually they can walk faster. And not only that, they can actually start running. And not only that, then they can start sprinting. And then they're going to say, I have to stop myself when I'm running this fast. Let me practice how to stop. Slow down, nigga. Slow down. And they know how to stop. So you have to do the same thing in order for you to get to the top. Same principles. Remember, resilience, perseverance are key in bouncing back from criticism and setback. So criticism is always going to be there in Fanagate. It's always going to be there. But don't criticize. But don't try. Like if you look at the whole West, because go can see by lawyer, na me wa go next door. Se tare in dona ena ye king o kare se tare reka yano king o regile koloi. Oh, kito months. Na wana ke habe reki. Na wana ke hakre mereko. Na e u criticize o ke boma o lady ba sabate bi. Wena go spanning you at work, but se tare bu waka we. When out li lega cruiser ru regete mama ho or tomo kaya cruiser ru tomo paila fenicha romo paiti tv u remon waba regile tv wabe a regile tv enja ibile o regile lidi couch o regete mama who a giti kitlo hona na kitlo tila gae kibalo iba sit about lo ilega di pelosa bon they've already bewitched you with their hearts then the next thing because they have caucuses criticizing you. Now they have formed an organization of witches. Caucus. Kibo mewa ko next door. Balona lema oledu ha ha little time ala ha. Oena now because you are the child, you are bearing the challenges of fights you know nothing about. And because bana babo ne basale tuko morao. That's just the the criticism that go cars. Maybe we shall go squatter camp. You're gonna face the same thing. We shall go machai, and you're gonna face the same thing. And uh, when you become successful, it's gonna even come even ten times worse. Now you're not only getting it from Kokasi, you're getting it in your workplace. You're getting it in your relationship. Babe, why are you always working so hard? Ah, nah, nah. Maybe you're going to get it from your partner, your spouse, if they don't have the same vision and the same values as you do. So, my friends and family, use these challenges as opportunities for growth and propel yourself towards your greatest potential. You must remember that God has given you talents, man. Every single one of you. Every single one of you, God gave you talent. 
There is no child born on this planet without a talent. And you have to take that talent and multiply them, multiply them, multiply them, multiply them, multiply them. That makes God happy. So work on all of these criticisms and use them as, a, as blocks to take you to the next level. When I tell a criticism, we buy step, step on it. Another one, take it, put it there, step on it. Another one, take it, put it, step on it. And don't listen to the naysayers, man. Don't listen to those guys. All right, Mpanagit, I think I'm out. Make sure that you share this video, man. And of course, I'm going to continue on trying to give you tips on, uh, on life in general. So soon I'll be talking about relationships, marriage. I've been married for like, I've been with my wife for 21 years next year. Well, 20 years this time. And uh, I'll talk about that, man. I'll talk about raising kids. My eldest is 20 years old. And my second born is 17 years old, turning 18 soon, next year. Then my last born is 12 years old. So, I'll talk about that. But for now, I'm out, peeps. Make sure that you go out and get what you need to get. Go get what's yours, what belongs to you. Take care. Bye. How many children do you have? 23. 22, baby mother. Real bad man.